Okay, why don't we start from left to right? Or, yeah. Yeah, left to right. Alrighty. My name is uh, Denver Atherton, and uh, I am a freshman, and I am 16. Steven Burchell, and I am 14. I am in eighth grade. My name is Nevaeh Linsky. I'm 14, and I'm in eighth grade. <laughs> and you're all from at Atlanta. Yes. yes, Atlanta, Illinois. Can you stand closer together? All right. So we are talking about COVID this year, and were there were there some sports that you guys like or uh, activities that were canceled because of COVID? Uh, um, yes, uh, pretty much. Uh, everywhere we have to go into, we have to obviously wear masks, and that includes for school, uh, school activities, and pretty much anything that has to do with uh, being in public, quote unquote. Are, do any of you play sports or? No. No, I personally don't, but I know people who do. Or a band or? I or... like to do wrestling, but I decided this year I'm not gonna do it this year because of COVID. Oh, you usually do wrestling. You, can you say that again, that guy? I usually loud. do wrestling, but I decided not to do it because of COVID. Oh. And I understand the pool was closed most of the summer last year. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go to my grandma's and it sucked. Yeah. There was multiple people in the pool. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, in a small town, there's not much to do. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, but this is definitely not one of the uh, smallest, smallest towns, towns here in Illinois. There are plenty of other small towns around here. Have, this is actually a pretty big town considering. We have uh, Casey's and Dollar General down here. And they're here. building a, a truck stop. Uh, Dairy Queen is Dairy Queen. A library. A, uh, a laundry mat. <laughs> yeah, and also a uh, and then we've got pizza hut, I believe. A Palm Grill Cafe. Have you had any family? Any of you had family that uh, had COVID or yourselves? No. Actually, no. my mom, my sister, and then my grandma had it, and then I got it, so. Yeah. You got it. How bad was it for uh, each of you? Was it bad for your mom or your? Um, I'd say my grandma was the worst because she's got brain and lung cancer, so. But my mom and Mackenzie weren't that bad. I had it for a day or two, and kind of like a coldish kind of way. I mean, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, makes me think about what kids are wondering, what kids are up to thinking of, is that uh, you know, COVID almost. I mean, did your your she was seriously ill, your grandmother? So yes, you're all sir. thinking about life and death here more than most teenagers, right? Yes. Yeah. And. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of that? I mean, does that change you at all, or I no, mean, not really. Me, not really. Death happens every day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me personally, not really. Just because of I don't have any uh, close relatives who have had COVID, and me personally, this is just my opinion, but I don't think that COVID is actually what it's hyped up to be, quote unquote. For older people, yes, but I mean, for people that is like 20 under, it's not hardly a concern. Can I say something? I think personally with this, if you're getting the COVID shot, like doses of doses, I would suggest it, but if you're getting it, you shouldn't be required to wear a mask. If it was so effective, then what's the point of keep wearing masks in public and when you're with people and being inside and outside with a mask? I agree with you, Nevaeh, but still, there is some things you gotta consider. Like, what if you've got family that you could have it without knowing it? The COVID vaccine. I like, think you could have a mutated version of COVID. I don't think you've know. ever looked me in the eyes like this, and it's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh -uh. and, and, uh, so, um, are you. So, did it cause any stress? Is any, have you heard, any of your friends had any kind of stress related like they've been kind of been sad or something because they've been distanced from their friends no not really, uh, not really. Not really. small really. towns are usually quite tight uh yeah i have my main group so if one of us is yeah, going we... down we're all going down <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're all... Mina Bay and Alyssa, then me and denver and one of our other friends uh, yeah so we are we yeah we are pretty tight so 
Yeah. Uh, we kind of have to be in the small town just because of. Uh, well, it's not really have to be, but it's more uh, better for you to, if you know people around town. Um, just because it's a smaller town. And uh, but, go ahead. What were you saying? Sometimes I go out to the country with my dad during the summer, so. People are way spread out. The houses are spread out very far out there. We go out to Beardstown in the country and go and live with my dad for the summer. So we can do whatever we want out there. So And uh, very cool. And uh, so uh, do you think that, like on a scale of one to 10, what, how big of a bummer what has this year been? About a five and a half. I mean, I don't see no difference. I still do the same stuff I do, what I usually would do. <laughs> Especially smack me. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, for me, I I'd say it's been about a solid uh, seven, just because of the masks and all of the uh, uh, requirements that come along with the uh, masks and COVID and all of that other stuff. It has definitely canceled a lot of stuff for me personally. And uh, every you, year is a bummer when you have school. I'd say 10. Yeah, I really don't like wearing <laughs> the masks at school, but I'm Yeah, but school's uh -huh. boring in general. So, yeah. Yeah, 10, 10 being the best and one 10, being the worst. 10 because then you get to learn and then, yeah. Ten being a good or ten being a bad? Badish, goodish. Oh, I see. I, I didn't. I wasn't clear. I wasn't clear on my scale. <laughs> I think you mean that's a, supposed to be a five. It's a, it's in between. No, it's a, it's a ten good, but a bad. I'd say five. So. Okay. So. Yeah. I don't know. Just give them a. Five. Has it changed five. small town small town fun at all? I mean, no. have you do? No. You, no. You mean, I know. I know the good park. I go out with my girlfriend, so. The park. Yep. The park is uh, closed, right, for a while? No. Actually, uh, Actually no, we can go to the park whenever we want. We just have to leave by dark. Uh-huh. Yeah, Sucks. and here in a small town, it's not... And here in a small town, it's not really uh, <laughs> that big of a deal here just because of there's less people. And the, this town doesn't really have to be worried about uh, the COVID be, just because of it's a smaller town and there's not as many people who can get it. So... It's still required, but it's not as much of a concern as it is as it is in, let's say, bigger towns like Chicago or like a Bloomington or L.A. So, uh, so it hasn't changed your life in a big way. You don't know anyone who's died of it, although you uh, have seen that in your family impact that must have scared the wits out of you. And, and. Uh, were you scared? How did no. that make you feel? Fine. I'm fine with it. I mean, I was scared for my grandma, but that was even before COVID, because she had lung and brain cancer. Yeah. Which sucks. Either way, she's going to die either way, so. You, you sound heartless at that statement. <laughs> well, she's gonna die either way. I mean, so, I mean, if she go die, she gonna die. Either way, we're gonna have to bury her, so it don't matter. Shut up. <laughs> but, yeah. Although I do have a question for you. Uh, what inspired you to ride a bike all the way uh, to LA instead of just like a regular uh, motor vehicle or? Like okay, a motorcycle or something. This wrong. is slow journalism. So I would miss all this. I'd drive right past. I was last night I was in Bloomington in normal. I mean, uh, if I was in a car, I would never have stopped in Atlanta. And uh, so this is slow journalism and this is what I have a friend uh, going around the world walking. Really? Yeah. Hmm. He's got two Pulitzer Prizes. He's now Poor in dude. <laughs> But I'm not walking, but uh, yeah. but I, I mean, hey. have you ever been, have you ever, you've never been interviewed? This is the point, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been interviewed. Never, I have never anything. been interviewed. And it's kind of, it's kind of fun. And uh, any last words uh, for posterity? Because it all is going to go. 
It's all going to go to the University of Florida Oral History and uh, some of it to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, they ha they're still having fun in Atlanta, you want everyone to know. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. yep. What is your uh, YouTube channel? Florida's the best channel? as well, so What's I your YouTube to go channel? there. I'll give it to you afterwards, yeah. 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 All right. So, very cool, and you guys are the best. Thank you so much for all your time. And uh, any final thoughts on COVID, this, this historic year, because this is an amazing year. You're going through something that uh, teenagers have, have not gone through in a long time, since yeah. 1918. Uh, the, one thing that, hole. the one thing that I can say about the thing for COVID is that I just wish it would end, personally. So yeah. you mean COVID can go die in a hole? Not to that extreme, but yes. <laughs> cool. You know I have no other thoughts about it. All right.